Hey everybody and welcome to the video. So today we're going to be going through how to adjust the chain on your Honda CB1000R Neo Caf Racer. This is the uh, black edition so I've got the quick shifter um, up and down, the heated grips and I've also got the cowling on the back. So, but yeah, so I've done 4,000 miles in it now. But yeah, so I've done 3,000 miles in it now and driving the other day I noticed that there was a bit of a, a flapping noise like Dip, 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 dip. And I was like, I think the chain is adjusting. I haven't adjusted it since I've had it. So um, I think it's about time to do it. So we're gonna run through the process of how you do it. So first thing I'm gonna to say to you to do is take your key, take off the seat or your cowling, whichever one that you've got. And then in here, you'll find a few things. One is the owner's manual. Two is the toolkit. Okay, so the owner's manual page 113 we have inspecting the drive chain so here it will go over of what you need to do to get your bike in its current position and it tells you the drive chain slack which is between 40 and 50 mil do not ride if it exceeds 50 mil i think mine's a little bit above 50 mil and um, roll the bike forwards and check it and then on the page over on page 114 it tells you how to adjust the chain slack and then it's also got checking the drivetrain wear on the on the inside of the wheel there is an indicator that you can see so at the top from the other side if you look through from the other side and it will tell you if it's if it's in the red then the chain's too um, excessively worn and you need to change it so that's that here's the toolbox that comes with it what we have inside here is a couple of spanners size 14, 12, 14, 10. Um, I don't know what that is. Screwdriver, the Allen key bolt that you need to undo the um, pinch bolts. And then you have the adjusting tool here and the extension bar here. Okay, so let's crack on. So what I've done is I've got a jack underneath on a box onto the bottom of the exhaust there just enough it's on the side stand here just so we can rotate the wheels and now we need to break off the bolts i'm going to use a ratchet and a socket because i have these rather than using the stupid little thing it's trying to give you so no, they're not even that tight This other one's a bit tighter. Right, so they are nice and loose. Not too loose, the wheel's gonna fall off. And we're gonna get our tightening tool. And then in behind the chain. So if you're looking at the bike, there's a cab package here. And inside there, they're the two bolts that you need to undo. And then the actual sprocket side of things, it goes on there. You see that? It goes it goes on these lugs here, one there and one further up there. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Right, so that's good. So that was quite loose, my chain. It says it's got to be between four and five, so I have to go anti-clockwise to tighten it up. Now we will lock up the bolts. Go. That is a lot tighter than where it was. We'll check back here. And we are still within the green on the indicator on the back. So there we go, we have now on the chain. So there we go. That is how you adjust the uh, chain on your CB1000R Neo Caf Racer. We've done an oil and filter change, which is in a previous video, which I'll try and link up here, how to do the oil and filter change. Um, and that's it really. So good bits of kit here. The owner's manual is a great source of knowledge and information, and it even supplies you all the tools to do the job. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.